Today starts Banned Books Week, which was established in 1982. The purpose, to promote free and open access to information. Well, efforts to ban books in the U.S. are actually on track to break a new record. Meantime, some successful authors living in Utah are declaring their opposition to the actions of several school districts here. They say a trend toward book banning has to stop. Fox 13 News anchor Max Roth talked with reporter Palak Jaiswal earlier this week, who printed their statement today in the Salt Lake Tribune. Several Utah school districts have rolled out lists of banned books this year. The two biggest districts, Alpine and Davis, also made the longest lists. Well, on Sunday, 40 authors will publish a letter in Sunday's print edition of the Salt Lake Tribune, accompanied by a story outlining their intentions. Shannon Hale, author of the best-selling Princess Academy series of young adult novels, wrote the letter, and it's signed by an A-list of Utah authors. Among them, Ali Condi, who wrote the number one New York Times bestseller, Matt and Lindsay Levitt, author of Vegas Strong and the Princess for Hire series, among others. Salt Lake Tribune reporter Palak J. Swall interviewed the three authors for Sunday's story. Shannon said that they've never seen, you know, as a group of authors, so many attempts to kind of overwhelmingly target books that um, kind of highlight marginalized communities. Books about LGBTQ teens or written for those teens make up 21 of 52 books pulled off of the shelves of the Alpine School District in early August. That's according to the organization PEN America. Minority, ethnic, or racial groups are featured in a number of others, and other books feature sexual activity or images. The authors signing on to the newspaper column aren't generally on any list of banned books. Ali Condi specifically said, you know, we are three white women. We aren't on we not we aren't often affected by this kind of stuff, but our peers are. The bans have been turbocharged by the legislature. They passed a law prohibiting schools from offering what they call pornographic or indecent materials. Now, these authors say books can save the lives of struggling teens, and they're worried about the growing teen suicide trend. In studio, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah. Thank you, Max. We have reached out to the group Utah Parents United, but have not yet heard back. In response to the conversation of banning books in Utah in December of last year, a group member said, quote, please stop protecting pornography and harmful material that's available to minors in public schools.